Welcome to Chocopocalypse! This week, the dollar store gourmet Jacqua France 74% dark chocolate goes up against... Aero 70% dark chocolate. Let's see who's going to survive. So, let's try the gourmet dollar store chocolate first. The Jacqua France. As funny as it feels to say gourmet and dollar store in the same <laughs> sentence, we have been pleasantly surprised by some of their stuff. So it's I'm not true. slamming dollar stores. And this is the good dollar store yes. where you can get things that are like more than a dollar. So we've got a couple categories that we like to put our chocolate into. This one we're putting in the gobble chocolate. <laughs> the mid-grade chocolate, which is, you know, some decent chocolate that you can find fairly easily. The third type of chocolate is the high quality chocolate or the luxury chocolate. <laughs> we know what chocolates are up against each other. Time to read the ink. Aero Dark is made with 70% cacao, making it an excellent source of magnesium, and it contains naturally occurring polyphenols. Polyannas. Polyphenols. And, oh, I should have read this one first too. Epi. Epicatechin. 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 Let's eat some epicatechins, everybody! Ooh, how's your epicatechin feel right now? That's what I want when I'm treating myself to some epicatechins. I was gonna say, if this didn't have epicatechin in it, I wasn't gonna even put it up against another one. I don't know. What's your ring say? Okay, so mine is, founded in 1920, Jacqua is still renowned as a true chocolate making specialist creating unique recipes in respect of the French chocolate tradition. Enjoy this high cocoa content dark chocolate. Minimum 74%. A harmonious duo of fine estate African chocolate. So African chocolate made in France, brought to Canada. It's a conglomeration of nations <laughs> in my United mouth. United <laughs> nations of chocolate. Let's try this beautiful gourmet dollar store's finest. Ooh. Actually smells like dark chocolate. Yeah, it actually smells so pretty it's good. good. It's better than the stick chocolate. Yeah. Most feel? It actually feels okay. It's not bad. It doesn't have like a really beautiful smooth creaminess, but it's not bad. It's a little bit of uh, a uh, drier chocolate. Mm. How's the most flavor flav? Actually, I kind of like it. It's a bit on the bitter side, but it's, it's, um, a but tiny bit bitter. You know what it reminds me of? Hmm. It kind of reminds me of like those big chocolate Easter bunnies you get <laughs> that you just like use your teeth to grate down on like a beaver like The one you always eat the ears first? Yeah! The you eat them last. first too? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I remember when I was a kid my grandma would send us like boxes of candy and there was often like those bunnies in there. My mom would hide them but we would like make this big hunt and find them and like steal them. <laughs> and then we would just like eat them like around that you start with the ears and then you like eat around the edges. Yeah, mm. I'm good. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, I think I got a good taste for that one. Now mm. let's, here's our unbagging of the Arrow 70%. Now I've got high hopes for this because as a kid I used to love to eat Mirage bars, mm. which are similar to Arrow, they're all bubbly and stuff. Thanks. Ooh, delicious little bubbles. Mm. Nice. Actually, know it's flavor. It's not as. It doesn't not as smell as chocolatey. Yeah, like this yeah. one actually smells really chocolatey. Maybe they put like a chocolate perfume on that one. Um, Probably not. Mm. The mouth feel. Those bubbles, though. It's not bad. Yeah, I don't think it feels quite as like gritty as the dollar store one. And I kind of like the bubbles, you know. Mm -hmm. It's like. Popping those little bubble wraps like in your mouth. <laughs> if it, it's like, I think it's sweeter than the dollar store one. Like it not is. as bitter, but yeah. I don't know. It kind of has a taste to it that I don't really like. It tastes a little plasticky. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it's uh, as high a quality as the dollar store mm. one. It, it does feel like it's kind of a... Which is kind of ironic. <laughs> yeah. So, final winner. Yeah. Which one would you pick? Uh, to survive the chalk apocalypse. I'd say the dollar store. The yeah, Jacques me Croix. too. The Jacques Croix France wins this round. Winner! Thanks, dollar store. 
we are going to do a mini competition. The winner gets to eat the surviving chocolate. The loser gets death by chocolate. By that we mean you feel like you want to die from eating the loser of oh. chocolate. Our competition is beatboxing. One of us is going to say boots and, the other one's going to say cats and, we're going to go back and forth until one of us laughs. The laugher is the loser for that round. We're going to do best of three. You get the air. Mm, 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 mm. Ready? Yeah. Go. Boots and. Cats and. 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 Loser! All right, round one goes to lose. Ready? Yeah. Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and I messed it up. I went to boots. No. Ah, I should have done no. da, 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 da. You have to eat at least 50% of this chocolate. 50% that's left. 50% of what's left. So four squares. That's correct. All right. Mmm, loser chocolate. I want the other one. You have to whistle when you're done. I have to whistle? Mm -hmm. Is that so you know that I'm done and I'm not hiding in my mouth? Mm -hmm. Okay. <sighs> you usually went with the ears and then you went with a little nub at the bottom where the mm -hmm. foot was sticking out. That was the I know. next to go. It's pretty much whatever stuck <laughs> out, that's what you like worked on next. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh.